What's going on everybody, Josh Pocock here. And in today's video, we're not gonna be looking at Cursor. We're gonna be looking at a free open source alternative to Cursor, the AI IDE that is currently being hyped up by Twitter, by YouTube. Everyone is talking about it in AI coding space. This coder tool though is called ZAI and it is a blazing fast open source editor. We're gonna be using it with Ader to build a Next.js application. Without ado, let's dive right into it. All right, guys. So if you're not familiar with ZAI, I've covered it before. I've also covered Cursor before. And in both, in many of those videos, because I covered a few different ones, um, I've gotten some people on one side that say, hey, I love Cursor. It's better than Zed. And then I get some people that are like, I love Zed. It's better than Cursor. I hate Cursor. It's clunky. It's overhyped, right? So there's two different sides. I understand both sides for certain things because um, I have experimented, to be honest, quite frankly, a bit more with Cursor, but I want to give Zed more of a go. So that's why I'm going to be doing um, an Ader uh, install with it where, for Next.js and setting up a basic app with it. Um, but before I do uh, dive into it, I'm going to show you in this video one how to quickly how to install Zed. I'm not going to go through every single nitty gritty thing. If you're on Mac or Linux, it's a lot easier. You literally just click download here and you should be good to go. At the time of recording this video, though, for Windows, it's a little bit trickier. All right. I covered that in my previous Zed video. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below and I'll quickly go over how to do that in here. But I know that there's some people who already know about Zed, already know about Cursor. And for those of you who kind of know about that, um, that's cool. But there's also people in, uh, who are watching this that really don't know too much about either or. So to start off, before I get into actually going in and setting up a Next.js app and installing Ader in Zed, I'm going to quickly just do a brief overview and kind of the differences between Zed and Cursor. So there's going to be timestamps in this video. If that, if you can maybe check out some of this, what I'm going to show you. And if, you know, if you think you may have heard it all, you may want to skip ahead a little bit, but um, I'm going to try to make it quick. All right. So ZAI versus Cursor. All right. Some of this, obviously, just to be transparent, was AI generated. Um, but I'm going to give my own personal points and preferences and experiences that I've had with these tools. And you can let me know in the comments, too, if you uh, would agree, because I know a lot of you are wondering which one should I use or um or maybe you're using one and you think maybe you should use the other one i don't know so first off uh some core features so uh type z so we have z on the left cursor on the right so i'm just going to run through these real quick modular de uh, development environment for z ai first code editor vs code fork for cursor speed very fast for z like blazing fast Com and cursor's fast too but definitely not as fast as z z's very lightweight z uh, z's very lightweight and then AI integration, built-in AI features. I guess Cursor may have a little bit more of a deep integration, and that's probably just because they kind of start out as an AI app. Zed just got the AI feature fairly recently, but um, it's it's really good. Uh, it is missing a few different things, like multi-file editing, where it can actually um, like create files and and like do it like kind of do like what Claude Dev uh, does. And I'll show you that in just a second. That's why we're going to use Ader with it because Ader can do that. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second regarding that. Next, user experience. So minimalistic uh, developing. And then user experience with Cursor is familiar uh, for VS Code users. So it's like the exact same platform uh, compatibility. So with Cursor, like I said, Mac and Linux is available for download. And then Windows, you have to build it. And I'll show you quickly how to do that in just a second. Yeah, and then cursor is cross-platform so that's a plus if you're using windows but even if you're using windows i'm still going to show you how you can do it with um with zed and then customization it's limited for zed but you can still customize it it's just not as extensive as cursor because you get more extensions since vs code vs code's been around for a while um and then real-time collaboration yes with both but zed does have something really cool I'll, I'll touch on that too um with collaboration and having channels kind of like slack in a way with uh, teams and then pricing free um and then i subscription i don't i think this is actually wrong because yeah they don't have uh, a subscription to my knowledge so it's actually just free um and then they also even give the um quad sonnet uh like kind of free credits if you sign up so i'll show you that in a second you're gonna want to sign up so you can use the quad sonnet free credits and then 
cursor is free which with limitation and you can't use the um composer feature which is honestly the only reason i actually switched to using cursor just for the compose feature just because i like it all right other than that before with the basic cursor ai features i didn't uh, i wasn't using cursor and now you see everyone's like hyping up cursor and whatnot but so you're going to need to pay for the subscription 20 bucks if you really want to use cursors uh features you could use the free one but at that point you could also just use vs if you're just going to use the free cursor you may as well you could just use vs code with like something like continue dev or um claude dev and i'll do videos more videos like maybe with that and and showing you alternatives to cursor even though i've already covered them uh before simple and clean interface with zed strong code base context features with cursor rust base for efficiency with zed uh, auto debug feature with cursor and then still in development it is fairly newer with zed and then fewer features compared to established ides with zed that is somewhat true um and then higher pricing for premium features and then this is cons by the way yeah and then basic get support so yeah that's pretty much it i'm just going to quickly cover some of the key differences so zed is based from scratch in rust while cursor is a vs code fork uh, zed is faster and more lightweight cursor has deep uh, deeper ai integration and that's pretty much it guys so yeah i just wanted to kind of give a brief overview of, of some of the differences and now we're going to dive into um actually setting this up in zed and using it with ader to set up an xjs app okay so if you skip through to this timestamp and now we're going to get into this so without ado let's go ahead and set up zed so if you're on mac or linux simply download zed if you're on windows you're gonna have to clone the zed repository then you're going to have to install the dependencies so rust uh, install rust and then run these commands then you're going to have to install visual studio code right here window sdk archive and then you don't have to do the backend dependencies and then you're just going to want to cd into your zed directory and build from source by using cargo run dash dash release if that's too fast for you check out my other video i literally show you exactly how to do that but uh, i don't want to make this video too too long so check out that other video i literally show you how to do it once you do that it's going to compile zed and you're going to have it open like this so let's go ahead and i'm just going to delete this test folder and we are going to get the terminal open which is down here uh to get the terminal you just click in the bottom right right here and we are going to go to Ader. If you're not familiar with Ader, it is um, a really good AI coder that works in the terminal. So I'm going to paste in uh, Python dash M pip install Ader chat, okay? and it's going to start installing Ader chat. So as that's installing, once it's done installing, you're going to change directory into a Git repo. And you're, to work with Claude Sonnet, um, you're going to want to export your Claude Sonnet API key. And to work with OpenAI, you're going to want to export your OpenAI keys into an environment variable. So if you're on Windows, though, um, that this this uh, command is actually different. So if I go um, make this for Windows, and it depends because there are Windows terminals where you can run um, other commands. So yeah, you're going to want to, for pr command prompts, run this. For PowerShell, you could run this basically setting the environment variable of course you're going to want to replace your api key right here okay with whatever api key are you you're using whether it's openai or gpt 4.0 and i'll leave the ADR docs in the description as well so you can go ahead and um do that also too i'll mention with ADR, you are going to need uh git as well as python and pip so i'm not gonna explain how to do that but check out their docs right here to uh, make sure you have everything um up to date also too, if you're installing it, you're going to want to make sure you're running it in your terminal as administrator if you're running into any issues. Once you install that, with that command, you're going to want to run the command ADER right here. And we're just going to hit yes. So get repository created, sure, okay. Now we are in ADER. So let's go ahead and say, hey, please create a Next.js app router app for me. I want to create a landing page for my marketing business. As you'll see right here, we are using Claude 3.5 Sonnet as the main model and weak model uh, with Claude 3 Haiku. You can change these. I'm not going to go through and explain exactly how to do that right now. Check out their docs. You can use any model you want. Here we can go. Here we see that uh, Ader starts producing the code. So it says, hey, I'll create a basic Next.js app router application for your marketing business landing page. And then it's giving the steps necessary that it's going to go through. 
creating the Next.js app structure, setting up the main layout, creating the home page, landing page, and adding some basic styling. So you can see here it's starting with the app layout. Uh, it's starting with the page.js. Okay, so here we go with the output. I'm just going to quickly go over some of this. So I actually had to resend this in a new terminal. The other one actually kind of glitched out. Sometimes I get that with Ader. Let me know if that's just me or whatever the case may be. Um, but as you can see, it's developed a plan. We got a app layout.js, uh, page.js. Okay, so that's interesting. Page. Okay, so page.js. So I should have specified I want TypeScript usually because I like TypeScript, but whatever. We'll do JS uh, for this bubble.css components so we got a navigation component navigation module uh, dot css and here we can go here we go it says first create a new next.js project using this right here okay so it is typescript um navigate to project directory right here place contents etc start the development server and then open your browser and now it's asking to create new file we're going to click yes 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 and yes and yes okay so it did create the new files here perfect so run shell commands go ahead and click yes so now it's actually going to run and create these for me okay so for me at least let me know if this is if you guys experience this at all but with Ader, i sometimes get issues where it like kind of bugs out in the terminal like so i actually just manually ran this command here to uh get the next js app up and running um and yeah i've Kind of for me personally, I've just tended to find that when I'm using Ader. Maybe that's just me. Let me know if you guys experience anything like that um, or not in the comments down below. So now I'm just going to manually install uh, Next.js. We're going to use TypeScript, ESLint, Tailwind. So oh, uh, I wish I would have done yes for the source directory. It's not a big deal though. App router, yes. Import alias, sure. And then cool. All right. Okay. So now I'm just going to drag uh, our components over actually no i can drag this whole folder over into our app directory and i can remove the layout page and css right here and we're going to add our own well these are the ones that ader generated for us boom okay so now we just have our um our next js app right here i'm going to delete this we got the app directory our components file um we got global css right here and we got our layout.js and page.js let's go ahead and run this all right so i changed directory into your market.com the folder and now i just did npm run dev and we can see we can go ahead and check out our local host 3000 to see what this looks like out of box just from the exact code that ader generated us Okay, so here is the landing page. It's it's actually not too bad. I mean, we have a basic component here. We have um, these. Okay, so of course, these pages aren't working. We could actually expand upon this. I could say, hey, go ahead and create me. So we have the home page. Let's create the service page. Let's create the about page, the contact page. We have a basic headline, basic um, stuff right here. You know, nothing too crazy. Personally, I'll let you guys know what I would do here. I don't want to make this video too long. If you want me to show you an in-depth video where I actually build out something more intricate, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll show you what I where I would go from here. This should lay the foundation um, for you to have something very, very simple set up. Now what you could do is one within um Zed's AI. So we just used Ader to kind of get everything set up, get the files created. Now we could use Zed's AI to be like we could go into the page, for example, and we could uh, go over here and so we could insert context, insert a file. We could insert our, our page.js. We could, of course, use uh, Claude Sonnet 3.5. And I'm using the one from Zed right here. Uh, and just so to know so that you can do that, you click up here in the top right and you want to make sure you're signed in. So go create a free account at Zed. So you can get access to their free clots on a 3.5 and i could say make this more modern modern have some cool styling with a with dark mode and i may want to add the global css as more uh, context as well 
Okay, so I add a, have my prompt, I have my two files here, and I'm going to click Control enter Certainly, I'll update your code to make it more modern with dark mode styling. Here's the revised version. So for our page.js, this is what we're going to do. We're going to copy this code right here, and we're just going to paste it in here, and then we're going to copy our uh, styling right here and paste that into our global CSS. I'm going to save those changes. And okay, so we do have dark mode. Still, I would definitely iterate and improve upon this in terms of like the styling. Like we would want the text to be written, of course. Um, so yeah, and one thing I would do too is I covered a video on V0. If you're not familiar with V0.dev, it's a very easy way to get beautiful looking front end UI components using basically uh, one of the top libraries, which is Shad. Uh, Shad CN. So you could use Shad CN to get nice UI. You could use V0 to get nice UI. And uh, and then, like I said before, you can edit we either within the chat over here, pull context uh, from the different pages that Ader creates. All right, so you could actually go within different files and then you could highlight something, click on the, uh, the star AI icon right here and then add a prompt to change it. So that's how you can use ZAI's editor once you maybe set up the framework or structure using something like Ader. That's how you can kind of use both these tools together. Ader is really powerful for multiple file editing, creation, running command line codes, and all that good stuff. That's a feature that Cursor has. And then Z's native AI features such as the chat, context, as well as the uh, AI over here is really good or just doing the uh, co-pilot type stuff, all right? As well as auto-completion, all that good stuff. So that's what I would recommend if you're using ZAI. Just a few different points there. And then, like I said, always be using zero, uh, V0. Check out my other video I did on that a few days ago, V0. If you want to learn how to use V0, you can also use ShadCN. Coding for front-end development is getting a lot easier for, you know, building out a nice UI and all that stuff with AI. Um, I guess it's a little bit more tricky to, you know, build out the backend stuff, use, use stuff like uh, Postgres database or uh, whatever type of database, you know, connect it all together, whether you're using an ORM or whatever the case might be, like doing all that, making your app fully functional, like a full scale, uh, full stack end to end app. Um, that's, I guess, where, you know, you need a bit more expertise and you want me to cover more stuff about that and how to use AI tools such as Cursor, ZAI, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. If you want me to cover a specific tool or make a specific video, let me know in the comments down below, guys. And let me know. Let's, like, have some little bit of a uh, discussion in terms of what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer ZAI? Do you prefer Cursor? Um, what is the AI editor of your choice? Or do you still use VS Code? Because at the end of the day, you can use VS Code, use tools like Claude Dev, uh, you know, Claude Engineer, or Continue Dev. You can also use those in cur uh, Cursor too, which kind of gives Cursor, um, I mean, even though it's kind of just a cl clone of v uh, VS Code, I kind of like how you can use those extensions over there too, because I do like Continue Dev. I do like, you know, Claude Dev. Claude Dev is really powerful. So let me know. Do you like Ader? Do you like uh, Zed Cursor? You know, there's a lot of hype behind Cursor, but I wanted to share this with you guys in case you don't know about Zed as well. All right, guys. So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you got some value here, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you want to uh, show some support to the channel. We're almost at 5k uh, subscribers, guys, and, you know, road to 10k. Uh, hopefully, we'll hit that very soon. So, I appreciate all the new subs, appreciate all the new support, guys. Uh, we upload videos every single day on AI automation, AI coding, business, tutorials. Uh, Going to keep increasing the quality and try to keep improving and giving you guys as much value as possible. So, uh, yeah, other than that, guys, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.